In this video, I'm going to show you nine different free antivirus solutions for Windows 10. These are also available, many of them, for Mac OS and Android, as we see here for Bitdefender. This is the PC page, right? But there's a Mac OS and an Android page as well. Uh, if those are the devices that you're running on. So uh, this is sort of a brand review, right? Um, just going through all nine to let you know what's out there and what you can try. So the first tab I have open here, of course, is Bitdefender. And I have used that one myself personally. And uh, it's a very good uh, basic antivirus for your system. And I find of all the antiviruses here, with the exception, let's say, of the final one that I'll talk about, Malwarebytes, it's the quietest, right? It doesn't uh, pop up so much trying to sell you, uh, you know, the updated, upgraded version kind of thing. Uh, just be warned, this is pretty normal for free stuff, right? But that's the uh, the path, of course, that they'd like you to take. Get Take the free antivirus, and then they're going to try and tease you into getting their upgraded product, right? So Bitdefender is a good product, right? Uh, Kaspersky here is also a high, highly rated antivirus, right? They have their free version. So their their bit here is a, a kind of a cloud offering. Um, technically, I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes. I think everything is kind of getting cloudish in the background anyway. But uh, Kaspersky, again, a uh, very good reputation as an antivirus provider, and they do have their security cloud for free, as we can see right here. So, And it does look like they have some Mac and uh, iPhone, iPad type offerings, Android as well, right? So Panda, um, I haven't used Panda myself for quite a while, but a uh, handful of years ago, they were the antivirus to beat, so they know what they're doing. Uh, it is, you know, a solid antivirus company. And uh, here we also have uh, compatible with Windows and Android. So there are options here as well. I don't see any Mac offerings. Uh, oh, well, here we go. There's a there's a bit up there. I don't know if they offer that for free, though. You'd have to check that out. Uh, Sophos, right? They have a free antivirus. And again, all of these... Uh, offerings are from companies that at one point or another in my uh, long career as a PC support person uh, I have run across and have had reason to to trust right um, next in line is Avira uh, this is something that I have installed uh, quite a few times on my clients computers when they're looking for a free antivirus and I've been pretty pleased with the results so uh, this one I have some more direct experience with uh, over say Sophos and uh, uh, what was it here Panda uh, was longer ago um, Komodo uh, they have a good name um, in various security areas right and uh, I wouldn't hesitate to try their product you know you can don't by the way install two antivirus programs at once, right? That can cause all kinds of havoc. If you want to try one for a while and then try another, uninstall the first one and then, you know, install the other. The only exception to that would be the final tab I'm going to show you is Malwarebytes because it doesn't run in the background all the time in its free version. Uh, it's not as likely to interfere. So I very often have Malwarebytes installed on a system while, say, Kapersky or something else is running uh, you know, full time, right? And here we have Avast, right? Uh, again, a very popular free antivirus. Uh, I haven't used it much myself, but uh, it does have a good reputation. And something that uh, seems everybody's heard of is AVG, right? At least, um, you know, uh, historically, AVG, I think, was one of the first free antivirus offerings. So they really set themselves up in the market for that. So, uh, you know, AVG, give it a try. I will say uh, lately, uh, my impression is AVG is one of the noisier antivirus softwares. So, you know, whereas on the first tab, I said Bitdefender is very quiet. AVG is much more likely to pop up and say, hey, do you want to get the premium thing or to offer you other, you know, uh, products that you can, you know, 
trial or whatever, right? So so be prepared for that. AVG is a bit noisier, but it does have a good reputation, right? And here's the final tab, and this is Malwarebytes. And again, this doesn't run unless you get the premium version in the background as an antivirus all the time. It is what I use. I did get the premium version, so it is what I use as my main antivirus at this time. And it, in that mode, it is very quiet, right? Uh, sometimes it's easy to forget that I even have it. So, and I like that. I don't like things popping up all the time, except when they, when they should. Like it, uh, great thing about malware bytes, and this isn't true just for malware bytes when it's running in full mode, but uh, many of the other antiviruses will uh, just stop you from going to a web page that is known to have malware on it or or a virus or whatever right so so i think that's great because you know you click on links you think oh that looks interesting and the last thing you want to do is you know get into some kind of pop-up loop or get some kind of infection on your machine uh, i love the fact that uh, in the premium version it does do that job for me right so um so i can't recommend this more highly in the free or premium version right uh, but, you know, if you're going for a, a dual thing, if you're going to get malware bytes free, I would say probably if for the quietest experience, get the Bitdefender free and uh, the malware bytes free, which you can run on demand. Say if you ran that once a month, that would be great. And between those two, uh, it would be uh, probably your quietest experience. But I'm not, uh, you know, knocking the other ones in terms of... Uh, you know, they may have the features, et cetera, or just the history that you have. If you have history with any of these companies and you feel comfortable with them, go ahead and do that. Of course, all the links for these uh, tabs are in the description of the video. I hope this has helped to give you an overview of what's free at this time in antivirus and that it helps you out. Thanks for watching.